How are you doing, you beautiful, sexy beast, you? Got a special episode today. I bought the cheapest electric mountain bike on Amazon, pretty much in the world, that's actually considered a real electric mountain bike. Let's talk about it. Where made this trail? Crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this thing's uh, kicking my... Oh. Snap, just keep going. Whoa! Oh yeah! Ah, all on your head. Ah. Ah. So it is pouring down outside today. Had a few uh, life-changing things going on. One, COVID. Two, health-wise. Uh, the doctor said I had high cholesterol, so I had to do something about that. And three, uh, there was another big project I did at home, uh, just to make just to make the at-home life uh, a little more interesting. Yeah, I built a home theater on a budget. And if you wanna see how I did that, let me know in the comments. Now, one thing I'll tell you that's really cool about this home theater is that there is actually a Murphy bed in here. Ooh wee. But that's not all. We turned our one car garage into a home gym. Put in a mirror, got this awesome piece of equipment, put a TV on that wall, boom. You got yourself a home gym. Like I said, I had high cholesterol. I needed a no excuse method and basically putting the gym in the house made that happen. If you guys are interested in how I did this home gym in more detail, let me know in the comments. But enough of that, let's talk about why you're really here. So today we're talking about something very controversial. Electric bikes, but not just electric bikes, electric mountain bikes, which are probably the epitome of controversy amongst the mountain biking community. You either hate it or you love it. But one thing everybody can agree on is that electric mountain bikes are really expensive. And the idea of what a cheap electric mountain bike is can vary amongst who's asking. Just to put this into perspective, the YouTube channel Rob Rides has a video where he says he bought the cheapest electric mountain bike, which he bought for a whopping $3,730. That's cheap in the electric mountain bike world. But Mr. Rob Rides, I think I got you beat. Cause I got this bike for a beautiful $1,647. I bought the Overfly Aglia fully on Amazon. And if you bought this bike, let me know because I have not found any information on it anywhere. Let me know in the comments what you think of the bike if you bought it. So without further ado, let's check it out. The electric bike finally arrived. It just says e-bike on there. There's no damage to the box, which is nice. It's weird writing, I don't even know what the heck that says. Like rock shock sticker, some tools and a charger. They're better than like really bad plastic ones. I mean, you've seen. These are plus size wheels. That is a nice saddle. Well, we're gonna get more into this, but everything we hoped for was there. Like, it's not a lie, this is real. All the specs were correct. What else can I say? I'm just so freaking excited right now. Online, this bike said it was going to come with all these high spec pieces and sure enough it came in and it had everything on there and I was shocked. Let's take a closer look. The RockShox Recon right here, 3.0 tires, RockShox Monarch, like the Overfly 
battery Shimano Dior derailleur and a Shimano Dior cassette in the back. The Fang Max. For the price point, this is a badass deal. Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. There is one other thing that I did change on here, and that is the pedals. Fuker matched the bike quite nicely. So the only other thing to mention about this bike at first impressions is that it weighs a ton. I think it's like 56 pounds. So far so good on the Overfly Foley Aglaia. And I wanted to take it on its first real trail test. So I took it over to a mountain bike trail called Graham Swamp over here on the east coast of Florida. If you know Graham Swamp, you know that it's not necessarily an easy trail, but perhaps I felt that because it had a motor, that I could do okay. And I think the results kind of speak for itself, but let's take a look at how the bike did on the trail. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty steep. Not today. <laughs> I want to do it, but not today. strike territory wow that was a uh, a bit intense oh Chain came off. Okay. Crazy ass root drops out here. Hello. Hi. There's two in front of us. Okay. Coming through. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty crazy spot here. Yeah. My dad is up this summer. I'm not sure. I can it's an intense bike. <laughs> They're way back there. <laughs> they said you were up ahead. They're going slow down those uh, hills there. Oh. 
Oh boy. Ooh. Last section. Stop for some water. Looks like somebody graduated from their disc, the rear disc thingy. Whoa. You're clear. Thank you. You're welcome. I could do that. Whoa! Oh yeah! Ah, all on your head. It's all on your head. That wasn't that bad at all. Can't believe I just did that. Hell yeah! Willpower. Oh. Oh, I almost had it. Oh. Ow. They were funny when they put that one in. Oh. 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 Bro. Oh. oh. Nice momentum, man. Oh, it's scary though. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hey. Need water. Let's sit down. <sighs> Holy crap. Compared to Dora Sleeper, this is like way more advanced. This is a scary place if you don't mountain bike at all. Even if you're new, it's pretty scary. So, yeah, this thing's uh, kicking my ass. But I am, uh, I, I have to complete this, hopefully without getting hurt. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching if you stuck with me this long. Whoever made this trail is crazy. God bless them, huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was cool. I'm not doing dragon's back. Oh. Hell yeah! Whoa! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, that was the biggest jump I've ever done. Okay. 
Hello. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! I didn't even know that was coming. Whoa! Oh. Something just snapped. Whoa! Ho ho! Those pedal strikes! Wore out. Trail just keeps going. Uh, no. <laughs> Definitely not doing that. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Oh. Made it, guys. Even with the e-bike motor, I felt like I was dying. Granted, it's 90 degrees outside today in Florida, but uh, I don't think I could do this with just a regular non-powered bike. So what did you guys think? How did I do? If anybody is in mountain biking will know that uh, it's all about getting better. So I'm gonna try and progress as much as I can. I really love this experience of mountain biking, at least the Florida version of it. Maybe uh, I'll look into actually getting a real, just plain old mountain bike. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. But what I can say is that this electric mountain bike, the Overfly, Fully Aglaia, whatever it's called, actually I think is a steal for the price that I got it for. And I did find that it is listed uh, on walmart.com, if you trust that too, I don't know, proceed with caution. Uh, and there is a similar bike brand that I guess Overfly must have manufactured for them, they just changed the name. It's called uh, Ventoli. It's the exact same bike but without the mid-drive. It's a rear motor bike, a slightly different components, but you know, look it up, go to the website, take a look and you'll see how extremely similar these are. So I'm 99.9% .9 positive that this company went to Overfly to purchase these to resell in the United States. So let me know what you guys think of this bike in the comments. Would you buy this bike? And if you have any other recommendations for me, put them in the comments and I'll try to reply. So that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.